In this tutorial, we will look at installing EasyTronic 2.0 and MVCI software. If you're watching this video, you should have already watched the video on optimizing your PC for use with the VCI. If you have not done so, please stop this tutorial and watch the tutorial on optimizing your PC. If you have completed those functions, return to this video for continued help in installing your software. The first thing you want to do is install your EasyTronic 2.0 DVD into the DVD drive. Then, using your computer, click on Start Computer, find the DVD drive, right click on it and click on open now you want to find the file that says rb setup double click that file select the language to use during the installation you can close this window now and wait for the installer to begin just follow the read the screen and follow the prompts first it's going to ask you to select your country select you and it will jump down to usa and highlight usa and click next you want to read over the license agreement then you want to accept the agreement and select next here's where you can select what folder you want to install the program in if you want to use the default folder just select next for this application we are going to do this without an I key so we're going to select installation without an I key select next select the info types box and that will highlight all of the components necessary. Leave the other box empty. Select Next. This setup wizard displays a summary of the setup configuration. Click Install to proceed with the installation or use the back button to change your settings. The setup wizard proceeds with the installation and displays a bar showing the progress of the installation process. This may take several minutes. The setup wizard has launched the MVCI software installer. Click next to proceed with installing the MVCI KTS software. One note, if you have your MVCI connected to the computer right now, please disconnect it. You will be prompted at the proper time to connect the MVCI. Select the destination location for the MVCI software installation. You can use the browse button to specify a specific location or if you prefer to use the default location just select next. The MVCI software installer displays a summary view of the setup configuration. Click install to proceed. The MVCI software installer has launched the Bosch VCI platform software installer. Click Next to proceed with installing the VCI platform software. Click Next to accept the default destination location. Verify that the VCI is not plugged in to the USB port. Select Install. If this is the first time you are installing the Bosch MVCI platform software, you are presented with a dialog box for configuring the USB interface on the MVCI. We recommend that you wait for the Windows operating system to display the message indicating that your new hardware is ready to install before completing the configured USB step. Click Finish on the MVCI KTS software installer. That concludes this tutorial on installing EasyTronic 2.0 software onto your computer. I will cover licensing in a future tutorial. Thank you for taking the time to watch this tutorial and I hope it has helped you get your computer up and running smoothly and quickly.